Hello Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do a quick love reading for y'all for this week. We're going to be looking at how your person's feeling towards you, how you're feeling towards your person, and the mutual energy between you both. This will not resonate for all Scorpios out there, so please keep that in mind. If it's not your story, it's just not your story. It's important not to force it, okay? If, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't for who was meant to hear it. I hope everyone is staying safe and staying healthy. Let's see what's going on. We are going into Mercury retrograde, so please protect your energy loves. We are in the shadow period, so if y'all are feeling exhausted or grouchy, <gasps> ooh, what's going on, Scorpio? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, let's see. The mutual. These two? Okay. Ooh, Scorpio, let's see what's going on. Okay, I'm going to read this as your person. I'm going to read this as you. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Um, flip it as need be. Everybody's story and situation and timelines are very, very different. So let's go ahead and get started. I just got a headache. So Scorpio, you may be very, very confused about something to the point where you're stressing yourself out here, okay? In your person's energy. You could be dealing with another Scorpio, could be dealing with a Pisces, could be dealing with a Libra. We have a whole lot of air, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy, okay? Y'all know the signs you're dealing with? For your person, Scorpio, we have the Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the Death, Six of Swords in Reverse. Like, I don't like this energy, Scorpio. I'm sorry. That's probably like so cringy, that sound. But <laughs> I don't like this energy at all, okay? This person's trying to keep you trapped and keep you hidden away from the world. Scorpio, flat out, okay? That's what I'm seeing. We have the Eight of Swords, okay? You may be very, very attractive. A lot of people want you, okay? I feel like you're dealing with someone. Whoever's on this side, I feel like you're dealing with someone. And they know a lot of people are attracted to you, okay? So they want to keep you hidden. They want to restrict you from being seen, from being heard, from being liked, anything. They probably don't let you have social media. Not that they don't let you. Y'all have free will. But they don't like when you have social media, okay? I'll put that. Um, they don't like for you to have social media. They want to keep you hidden. They know a lot of people want you, Scorpio, okay? And they want to keep you hidden at the house. They don't want you to open up to anybody. They want you blocked from the world. They don't want anyone to know about you because they know people are going to come rushing in trying to take you from them, okay? Trying to get you for themselves. I also feel like they want that to come to an end, okay? They don't want people to like you. They don't want people to want you, okay? They want to put an end to that. You see how people are kind of like giving presents or praise or they want, you know, they, they, this person is that death card. With this death card here, this is an ending or a transformation. This person wants you to stop getting attention from people. They want that to come to an end because they feel like they are the only ones who attention, whose attention should matter to you, Scorpio, okay? And when you get flattered or get compliments, they kind of get mad at you a little bit kind of like why do you care scorpio why do you care if i'm right here this person's very selfish and they're trying to hide you okay and then we have this six of swords in reverse they don't want you to move to something better they want you stuck they want you to stay there even if things are a little rocky with y'all right now they're not going to let you move to something better bigger better more calm they want you to stick it out, you know, stick it out. We're going to, when things are rocky, we're going to work on it, that type of energy. Because you're not going to go into something better, like, where are you going to go? I have you hidden, you know, that type of energy. Oh, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Under In your energy, though, Scorpio, you know things aren't right. You know things aren't right here. You know things aren't balanced. With this justice in reverse, you know this isn't what you deserve. 
yeah i don't think that you're happy at all scorpio okay i don't i don't feel like you're happy at all you may care for this person though that's why you stuck around you have the queen of cups you are the queen of cups right now okay you're in this queen of cups energy but i don't think you're very happy look at the face i hope y'all can see that like if you look at her face it's kind of like her eyes are not open. She's kind of like, well, I have to sip this cup. You know what I mean? It could be that you're married to this person because I see you also have the king of cups here, okay? You could be dealing with your spouse. And your spouse has you very hidden, very protective, very possessive energy, okay? Yeah, this is what I'm getting, okay? You know things aren't fair. Scorpio, you know you deserve better with this Queen of Cups. You know you want love. You know you want to be loved. You know you want to give love. I see that you're dealing with the King of Cups. Kind of like, this is mine. You see how he's kind of holding that tight? This is mine. This is where I'm getting this possessive energy. This is mine. What is that? This person also has a wandering eye, okay? They don't want you to be seen, but this person has a wandering eye. Look at his eyes. One's going one way, the other's going the other way. You know, like this person also has a wandering eye. And it could be that that's why they're like, no, I don't want anyone to look at my person, uh, my queen of cups. That can be a male too, flip the genders as need be. But babes, Scorpio, there's also a king of swords in your energy, okay? There's two kings in your energy. Remember, if you're a man and you're watching, you're the you're the queen, okay? Replace the queen as a king, and these are queens for y'all, or kings, however you want to flip that, you know? But there's two kings in your energy, babe, okay? You are the queen of cups, you're not happy, you're unbalanced, and you're kind of weighing your pros and cons here is what I'm getting, because you have two options, babe. You have the king of cups, the one that you've been dealing with that's keeping you hidden, that also has a wandering eye, or do you want this king of swords here? Because there is a king of swords here in your energy wanting to tell you the truth about how they feel towards you, okay? Wanting new communication. It could be you're talking to this person. It could be you're talking to this person. Look it. And this person wants to come bring truth and balance here. And that could be, it could be that you're talking to this person. And that's why your scales are unbalanced, okay? You're weighing the pros and cons of each king in your energy here. And you're a little confused on what to do. In the mutual energy, we have the moon and we have the six of cups. So yeah, I, I feel like you're confused. You're confused, Scorpio. You could be done with a Virgo. I almost said Virgo. Um, but you're confused. Like you're, you're kind of looking at one one way and looking the other one way. And then you're looking straight, kind of like looking at yourself like what am I going to do there's this person I've been dealing with but there's this new person that brings um a little bit more clarity here I'm confused so I feel like that's you but the moon is also about secrets being hidden okay and like I said I feel like this person is trying to hide you that's why it's in the mutual energy because this is exactly what they didn't want Scorpio they're trying to hide you because they didn't want you to get attention and possibly new new quarters, you know what I mean? New new people trying to court you. I'm getting you're very, very attractive, very sensual, very like radiant, you know what I mean? Very radiant. That's why this person is kind of like, nope, he or she is mine. That's my Scorpio. Because they see you as the soulmate. They don't think, I'll be honest with you, they, they, they see you as their soulmate and they don't think that you're going to leave them. You see, like they kind of leave you at home and they leave. You know what I mean? They don't think you're going to do anything like you're going to, like I said, they're keeping you hidden and they leave you at home and they leave. They just leave you there. They don't want you to be seen. They think that you're this person's soulmate and some of y'all may even think so too. And that's why you're confused. It could be that you've just been with this person for so long that you're a little confused, okay? Give me the Scorpio's person. I'm getting a headache, babe. So I think that you guys are like really confused, like stressing yourselves out to where you're getting headaches. One. Oof. 
I don't think this person is going to let you... If you ever decide to leave this person, Scorpio, if you decide that you, you choose a different king instead of the one you're dealing with or a queen, I don't think they're going to let you leave just like that, okay? You see how they're kind of like, no, stop, stop, don't do it, don't leave, don't do anything. Like, that's how they're going to be. Once you make up your mind, they're going to try anything to keep you from leaving is what I'm getting. You see how this part like looks old and dark and this part goes new? If you try to leave this old person and go into something new, they're going to be like, no, 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 stop. You know, don't leave. What are you doing? What are you thinking? Think about it. That type of energy, okay? They're really going to make you feel bad about it if you do decide to ever leave them, okay? With this Ace of Swords. If you decide you're wanting something new, you want to go on new endeavors, new adventures, they are not going to let that happen without a fight or without shaming you for it, okay? They're going to make it seem like, like you don't love them. Ace of Cups. Even if this is a loveless connection, they're not going to let you just leave like that, okay? Let me Scorpio. We have the Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, so that's a separation or it is a divorce. Like I said, some of y'all are married to this person, King and Queen of Cups. So Four of Wands in reverse, this is a separation or a divorce. Okay, it's on your mind. It's already on your mind, Scorpio. And we have the Fool because you no longer want to be this person's puppet. You no longer want to be this person's puppet. You don't want to be naive to this situation. You know you... You know, you want your freedom too. You want your freedom too, yeah. And you're tired of fighting with this person. You're tired of going back and forth with this person. You're tired of fighting. You want to be separated because you want to be able to do what you want to do when you want to do it. You don't want to be someone's house prisoner, you know what I mean? Look at underneath the deck, Hierophant in reverse. A divorce or separation, okay? Followed by the Eight of Cups, going to find something more satisfying and more fulfilling, Ooh, let's see, let's see. Clarify the mutual. Ooh, ooh. They gave us four, okay. Um, I will take it. So, yeah. So clarifying the moon, babes, okay? Remember the moon is all about confusion or being hidden. You're confused. Do you want to move on and be single? Or this other king, or is there another option, okay? Is someone very stable, very abundant, very on top of their finances, looks good, feels good, makes you feel good, has a lot to offer someone, okay? Do you go to that person? Or do you continue with this past person, the Page of Pentacles, who has not a lot to give you, but... They're holding you close to them, okay? They keep you close to your heart. You have them close to your heart. You're confused on what to do here. That's what you're confused on. Look at one dog is looking the other way and the other dog is looking the other way. Remember I told you? And you're looking straight, Scorpio. You're confused on what to do here. Um, I think you've tried clarifying that six of cups. I think you've tried to work things out with this person. I think you and this person are both trying. Okay, like I said, they're holding you close, deep to your, like they're holding you to their heart tight they don't want to let you go they think you're their soulmate i think you've been trying to work on it they've been trying to work on it here but it's feeling more so like a trapped relationship okay here you are again scorpio bound to the rock at home while this person is free to do whatever two of cups is all about a relationship but does this relationship look happy no you feel trapped you feel stuck even her face look at her face as much as you're trying scorpio you're not happy and you feel trapped, okay? Whew, that's what I'm getting. I'm going to get some love messages for you, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. The, these are my um, personal cards, okay? My personal oracle deck, Virgo Tarot Empress, love messages. I'm also going to use my other one, the Soul Confessions. If you guys want to purchase, they're in my Etsy shop in the description below. You can find everything there as well as how to book with me or you can just shoot me an email. That's in the description as well. Um... I am still doing this special for $50, full love reading for $50, so if y'all are interested, go ahead and book or shoot me an email. I do try to get it to everybody um, as fast as I can, so please bear with me on that. 
Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if this message is resonating with you. I do love to read every single one. So for the love messages, Scorpio, we have the wrong time. This person. It could be that you guys met at the wrong time or you guys have spent... This person decided to get it together at the wrong time, okay? They should have came to you like that. You know, within time, it should have been that this person gave you, let you do what you want, and, you know, gave you that trust, and they, they didn't. And if they try to come do that now, it, it's, it's too little too late, you know what I mean? In the mutual, we have, I don't deserve you. I feel like that's both of you. I feel like this person feels they don't deserve you because you're very attractive and very wanted, Scorpio. However, I feel like this person is also kind of like, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve all this stuff you're putting me through. Like, Scorpio, that's you. I, I don't deserve this. I deserve more. You know what I mean? I don't deserve you and everything you're putting me through. That type of stuff, okay? And this one, not enough chemistry or attraction. I feel like this person feels like you're not attracted to them. Scorpio, I feel like you're very attractive and they feel like you can have anybody that you want. And that's why they're kind of trying to hide you. Because if you find someone better that you like better because they feel like you're not attracted to them, you're just going to leave. That's why they try to keep you hidden. You know what I mean? It's strange. Let me get some soul confessions for y'all. Ooh. We have, mm hmm I'm no good for you. You deserve much better. Like I said, this person feels like they don't even deserve you. That's why they're, they're so adamant on trying to keep you for themselves, to see your full worth. Oh my goodness, what did I just say? I won't be able to handle knowing you're with someone else. So like I said, they don't want no one else to have you. They don't want anyone to be with you either. They're going to get really, really mad if you do leave for someone else, okay? Because they're already suspecting it. And then we have, yes, I regret it. Mm, so they did do something that they regret, okay, here, Scorpio? And it could be not even just, you know, just not giving you the love that you deserve. Not giving you your freedom. Not giving you your space. But that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this helps. I hope this resonates. I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. And I will talk to you soon.